Hi, this is Bob. Today is January 18th, 2015. Just finished uh, repair of this nice Heathkit HX1681 transmitter. We got a telegraph key on it here so I can key it. And we'll turn it on here. This is a real nice CW transmitter from uh, Heathkit. And it, is, it has a matching receiver, the 1680 receiver, which is the best CW receiver I think Heathkit ever produced. So I did run into some problems with, uh, with this. So we'll start over here. These three coils right here, that's the 20 meter, 15 meter, and 10 meter oscillators. And here's the crystals for them down there. Anyway, these three coils did not resonate properly. I checked them with a grid dipper and they were too high in frequency. So I put an eight picofarad capacitor across each of those coils and they tuned just fine. Also, the 10 meter coils, the two toroids down there, there's two trimmer capacitors down in there. Those trimmer capacitors were these, uh, these little black ones here like this. Focus is not so good on that. Uh, some of you may be familiar with these little little devils, but uh, this, these are plastic and after a period of time they just stop working or they're very intermittent and they cut in and out. So I took those out, I put some ceramic ones in that I'd gotten at a ham fest that are really good ones and those are uh, 2 to 8 picofarad. But those also, now these are rated at 8 picofarad too, these that I took out, but they still were high in frequency. So I had some two picofarad capacitors and on the 15 meters and the 10 meter uh, adjustable capacitors that I put in which were 2 to 8 picofarad I put a 2 picofarad capacitor across each one of those and then those tuned beautifully. You have to be careful because you can tune the 10 meter uh, coils and the adjustable trimmers you can tune that uh, to 38 megahertz which is 5 megahertz above the crystal frequency of 33 but you want to tune it to the lower side, to 28 megahertz. So I checked that with a counter, and that gave me a, 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 I had a trouble with that for quite a while, until I figured that out. And what else here? These shafts here, you can see the knobs are concentric, you got concentric shafts, and right here, right here, this shaft goes into that coupling and just butts up against it, it would grab and both shafts then would turn together and the only way you could tune it was with both hands and it was difficult because it really stuck so I pulled that apart and I put a very thin washer in there I believe it's a 3 16th diameter washer inside hole and a very thin and boy does it tune nice now I put a little drip of oil on it too and uh, so what else have I got here on my list I guess I've covered just about anything everything you want to keep your plate current down uh, I try to keep it about 200 mils. There's no sense running it wide open all the time. If you do, you'll be buying a lot of final tubes, and those 6146 tubes are expensive. So I just adjust it so it comes up halfway. I got it on 80 meters right now. I'm keying it with the key. So there she is, the Heathkit 1681. CW rig and I'm all set now to put it back together and uh, and put it on the air so that's it guys this is the last uh, part for uh, this project 73's and good DX